Today is December 6, 2013, and I'm here with the artist Vladimir Kiranyik, and he has done the mural by McCray Hall. Hello, Vladimir. Hello. Uh, before we talk specifically about um, the mural, could you sketch or give us a sketch about uh, how you got interested in art and uh, a bit about um, how you ended up at the School of Art? Uh, yes, certainly. Uh, my interest in art developed from my interest in uh, spray painting that I had during my high school years in Ukraine and then I moved uh, to Canada and uh, went to the School of Art at the University of Manitoba and uh, my interest in art developed more there and I started painting more seriously yeah. after, yes, after the, like, several years in the School of Art. Yeah, so when did you come to uh, Winnipeg? Uh, to live permanently, I came in 2008. And uh, yes, I was still doing spray painting at the time, but then I entered the School of Art and started doing more uh, of a traditional and other media. Yeah, and you started at the School of Art in 2009? 2009. 2009. Yes. Okay. Summer. So, so going from uh, doing graffiti art on buildings, I'm presuming, um, or everywhere. whatever, everywhere, everywhere uh, you know, the leap isn't that large to uh, work on um, the wall in the tunnel. Um, um, no, actually, like maybe the the surface itself is uh, quite uh, can be compared, yes, similar, and mm -hmm. the size, mm -hmm. but the, in terms of the the work itself and the working method, it's a uh, very quite, it's quite a big leap. It's very different. Can you uh, talk a bit more about um, the process and of how the work came about? Um, you mean the actual process of making it? Yes. Or? Yeah. So do you do. Um, preliminary sketches oh, yes, yes. of some of the images or do you just start by painting on on the wall? Um, in this kind of work uh, you, I think you do need uh, some preliminary sketches like to, to, to establish the general composition and the general uh, where the big shape is going to be and where sort of the important uh, parts of the painting will go uh, but as I go like the small detail you can I, I add generally as I go intuitively when you, when I see how the painting progresses I add more and more whenever it's needed or I sub subtract where it's not needed so it's a half and half it's like uh, lots of planning and lots of uh, intuitive kind of a very approach as you go. So you, you map out the larger elements yes. do, you, do you look at um, you know, photographs to get ideas for, for the works, because I see it, it's quite architectonic, or do you do it um, completely out of your head? Uh, a lot of it out out my head, especially more like general ones, but if it gets, so the more specific it gets, sometimes it can be from uh, references, like from books, photographs, uh, other art, uh, whatsoever. Uh, but in this particular one, mostly it's out of my head. I don't, uh, I don't remember using much of a reference as in terms of this particular one. Yeah, I um, I love looking at these buildings. They look like they're in a, in a state of unraveling, mm -hmm. or perhaps coming together with this, you know, um, strong vortex of energy. And uh, I think that's probably an important aspect of this work: the energy. Yes, yes. So the energy was like a central sort of general concept that they was trying to put into this work because. Uh, when they were trying when they were commissioning me this painting in 2012, they gave me very general guidelines to do something that uh, would appeal to major like to the most uh, as most people as possible on campus, just gen general public. So I was trying to keep it as general as possible, but at the same time I wanted to add some specific like specific specificity to the to the look of how it looks. So it's kind of this on the edge of like realism and very like abstract. So it's balancing on that and uh, yes the energy and the motion are a very important aspect of this work and uh, as you can see it's uh, uh, energy going into the spiral and spiral is a symbol of development and energy and is the source of this kind of uh, movement and uh, yeah this kind of topics I was trying to play with when I was doing this. Yeah and it looks almost like it, it's set within some kind of um, a landscape or, or space scape because you can read the the blue in the top corner and behind as, as kind of, you know, a yes. space where it's situated. Yeah, this yeah. is a surrealism influence at that time that I had a lot and uh, I still do often. And uh, I use this a lot because I know it uh, creates a sort of um, illusion of space, like indeterminate, indeterminate time, in the, like indeterminate time, it's not uh, bound to any specific time or any specific age, it's, uh, but it still creates that illusion of space and the, that uh, containment uh, in some sort of 
Yeah, it's Everything timeless. Yeah, yeah, timeless. Yeah. Or, and it also kind of represents, you know, infinity and space. Yeah, something right? yeah. yeah. And I think color must be very important um, to your art practice as well by looking at this work. Um, very yes, vibrant. I, colors, I still do plan some planning, but at the same time as well, like the actual elements, I do a lot as I go and I mm -hmm. just see what works and what not. Um, the more I was doing painting, the more I'm inspired by more. Uh, like old master colors often and some kind of very like realistic more but at the same time I want to balance on the very vibrant and the muted down colors colors is a very compl complex topic like you can yeah. have combined lots of different influences like yes. I said surrealism like you know, Dali etc mm -hmm. or even you know baroque like large scale baroque like paintings I get that kind of yes, feeling yeah. right mm -hmm. the, the composition well, color is very important in creating the moods. So, yeah. yeah. But at the same time, it's very, very personal too. Like you just like you can't explain why exactly you use those colors. It's just like you just do, like certain like tonality you want. And the mm -hmm. how long did it take for you to to create this mural? Um, four weeks. Four weeks. Yes. Yeah, and you probably go in and map out general things, and then you get more and more detailed as you keep on applying yes, the paint. Yes, that's right. And then the the narrative seems to emerge. Yes, that's yes. right. Wow. Well, thank you very much. You're very welcome.